everybody, it's Karen here from tapperscolor.co.uk and thank you very, very much for joining me today. Today I am taking part in the Inspiring Blog Hop Challenge and our theme is Carnival. Now if you want to know more about the challenge, uh, then by all means do nip cross to my blog. There's a link below this video and I tell you all about it there. But let's get started and see what we're going to make today. These are the things that I'm using today. I'm not going to make a whole card today, I'm just going to make a card front. So I've got a piece of Melon Mambo and it is five and three quarters by four inches. So that will fit exactly over the front of the kind of card that I make. I'm going to be working on some Whisper White and I'm going to cut that to three and three quarters by five and a half. Uh, I've got some gold foil card and some gold glimmer card. I'm going to be using stamps from Birthday Backgrounds. This is going to be new in our uh, our new annual catalogue. Not long to wait for that now. And I'm also using the Celebrate You uh, Thinlets. And uh, you might have got these in Celebration, but if you didn't, good news, they're going to be on sale in the new catalogue. Uh, I'm using Versamark ink, Memento, and clear embossing powder and I've got a few different colours of ink here so I've got Melon Mambo, Lemon Lime Twist, Coastal Cabana coming back in the new catalogue and this is in the the new style stamping uh, pad case and I've also got some Mango Melody now I didn't buy the full size pad for the Mango Melody because I can't afford to get everything at once but uh, what I will do is I will show you how I got this dinky little pad here. This year's Colour Refresh has left me with a few decisions to make. Now, uh, ultimately I expect that I'm going to get all of the new and returning colours in full size pads. But I can't afford to do that all at once, particularly when there's other new stuff coming along that I'm absolutely loving. And some of these new colours, you know, they're, they're all very pretty, but there are some that I love and some that I just like. So. I've gone for, first of all, I've got all of the um, the new markers because you can get those uh, as a set so that you can replace the ones that retired and you haven't got to buy a full new set of brights. You can just buy the, uh, um, you, you can just buy the add-on pack if you like. Uh, and for others, what I did was I got some of these. I got reinkers. Now, I'm a big fan of reinkers um, and for... Uh, all of my colours. I also like to get the. I, I also like to get the reinker at some point. Um, so I've got my reinkers and I've got some of these. These are uninked stamping spots. And if I need an ink pad, which I've decided that I do, and this is Granny Apple Green, what I can do is I can take my reinker and my stamping spot. I'm wearing gloves not because there's any anything wrong with the. Um, with the ink it's not going to hurt my hands or anything like that but I know that if I don't wear gloves I'm going to get covered in ink. There may be some people oh, and as you can see I've already written GA Green for Granny Apple Green on the side of this pad so I know what it's going to be and I'm just running the ink in and what I'm doing is I'm watching this white bit at the side because that will tell me whether or not the pad is saturated. Can you see the colour just dropping into there? Okay. And the other thing is protect your work surface because if you get too much in there, like I just have, then it will um, it will leak. So I shall pop the top back on that, and I will get a wipe from somewhere. Tissue here, doesn't want to get out of the bottle. I usually keep a roll of paper towel at hand, I don't know where it's gone. So I'll just I'll just use a Kleenex. I'm just gonna wipe that up. And somewhere I have here it is. I have the lid, which I have already labelled up to say granny apple green and I do recommend you labeling the lids because if they get detached you've got no way really of knowing what goes back onto what 
and you're kind of looking a little bit of bits of ink down the side of it there trying to work it out so uh, there it is it's turned that the right way around and there's my little mini ink pad now as well as being a, um, a kind of try me size this size of stamping spot is also very very useful for using with your stamparatus because it's uh, it's easier to get into the the stamps when they're on that stamping plate so uh, yeah win-win I've got my inks and my sponges ready and I'm just going to sponge over my piece of Whisper White card and I'm just going to lay down uh, spots of colour. going to let that have a nice long time to dry before I move. I've got my uh, Memento Tuxedo Black ink and I've got a sponge. I'm wearing gloves just to keep my hands clean, not because there's anything in the Memento that I think is going to hurt my skin. And I'm just going to load up my sponge with black ink and I'm just going to start covering all of this card with a layer of memento black ink and I'm going to keep working at it until I've got a nice dark background uh, with my my um oh gosh can't walk and talk at the same time so I'll probably unsound this bit So what I'm doing is I'm keeping going with the sponging and I'm going to continue until I've got a real really dark background and you can't see uh, any difference in these patches of colour or that you'll have to look hard for it. And this takes a little bit of patience and you do think well actually um, I've ruined it now but have faith and keep going and you'll see when we get to the end of the process how well it's worked. So I think that's pretty much there and I'm just going to take a clean cloth, paper towel would do lovely and I'm just polishing up to take the ink off the surface of those embossed firework displays I suppose, what you want to call them, but just to bring them up so that they are nice and bright and there we are I went over to the big shot and I cut celebrate out of my gold glimmer and I cut you out of the gold foil and now I'm going to start bringing everything together so I have a liquid adhesive because that gives me wiggle room but for this part of it I could quite easily use um, snail or I could use tape any of those things would work. So I'm just lining that up and uh, I need to decide now. I, now I see, you see I was wondering whether I should do this in a landscape or in portrait. What do you think? Because it's quite nice in, in landscape. Let's put it around in portrait and let's see how I prefer it. And actually I think I prefer it that way around so yep yeah, so that's what I'm going to do so I'm just going to put some spots of my liquid adhesive at key points 
and I'm not going to completely smother it in adhesive, just little dots here and there. Just enough. And of course, I've got glue onto my silicon mat, but uh, that doesn't matter because it will just wipe off. And I've got one or two little spots there popping out, so I'll just dab it with a tissue. And the great thing about putting things at a jaunty angle is that they don't really, <laughs> doesn't really matter if they're not straight because that was how you meant it to be. And the same thing for the word you. I'm just putting little spots of my liquid adhesive and I'll maybe spread them out a little bit, distribute them around the, uh, around the card there. And you see, I did think about centering that in the middle of the O, but it's just just not quite in the right position. And there it is. That is my finished celebration card. So there it is. That is going to be my contribution to the inspiring blog hop this time round. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, do thank you very very much for staying with me to the end and I would be so pleased if you would nip on over to my blog. There's a link below this video and go and have a look at what my teammates have been up to because I know they'll have done some really beautiful things to give you lots and lots of inspiration. But for now once again thank you very much for joining me and uh, I hope I'll see you again soon. Bye bye! <laughs>